Have you ever wondered how you can use macOS Spotlight Search but on Windows? So this is where this app called Flow Launcher comes into very handy. Flow Launcher acts like a Spotlight Search on Mac and you can basically open apps with it. You can do web searching, you can search for code and many more. Make sure that you go to this page and make sure that you click on this blue download button and install it in your preferred way. Here, for example, you have installer, portable versions, and then you can also install it from your command line right here as well with these three options here. And the most important part is that this program is actually supported also for Windows 7 as well. So if you are still using Windows 7, then you can still use this program. And the great thing about this program is that it's completely free and it's also open source. So make sure that you go to this link, which I will put in the video description below, right below the like button, by the way, and make sure that you try this application. On this page, you can also see that you can start this program with Alt plus space. And down below, you can see that you can type in, for example, shell commands, system commands, search bookmarks, for example. Then you can also use the calculator inside this program. Then you also can search for Windows settings and plugins store is here as well. Then you can also customize it to your preferred settings. Yeah, this is pretty much a really, really nice open source project, which you should download and install right now. Let me show you how it actually right now works. I have it installed. You can see this icon in the system tray in the bottom right corner. And if I press right now the Alt plus space on my keyboard, you can, for example, see this beautiful window. And let's search, for example, for the Firefox. And you can see here that you can open the app from the Firefox. You can even open the private browsing or you can search on Google for the Firefox itself and it will open your basically your default browser for that. Let me show you how you can basically play with the trigger key, customize it and even customize the program itself. So if you go here to the system tray icon, you can right click on it. And then if you, for example, are gaming and you don't want that this program actually uses your resources, so make sure that you then enable this game mode. Here we have the general settings. Here we have, for example, if you want to start the flow launcher on the startup, you can do that here as well. Then here at the bottom, you have search window position. And here you can see that it's currently set to monitor with mouse cursor. So if you, for example, have multiple monitors, it will open the flow launcher on that exact monitor where you have your mouse. So here you can also pick whichever option you prefer here. And you also have here search window position on monitor. You can also change that as well if you want to. Here we also have an option to auto update this program. Then the most important part here is also the plugins, which are apparently some of them are made by the community. Some of them are made by developer of this application. And here you have, for example, like browser bookmarks, calculator, explorer, and many more as well. So these are some of the plugins which will take action while you search using the Flow Launcher plugin store. So I believe some of them here are made by the community. So for example, let me show you how some of them actually work. Win hotkey. If you click on that, you can click on install. Then you can just click on enter. And you can see here, would you like to install this plugin after installation flow? will automatically restart. I will click on yes here. And right now, let's just wait. Once you have your plugins installed, you should see them inside this plugin tab here and trigger flow launcher by using Windows key. So if I do that right now, you can see that it works like this, but still there is a one bug where you can see that it opens the start menu as well as this flow launcher. So this is something that you need to be aware of while using this Windows hotkey plugin. Then we can go here to the appearance. Now for the appearance, you can also add a shadow effect behind the flow launcher if you want to. But here it says that it's not recommended because it uses a lot of GPU power. So I don't also recommend this option as well as the developer. Now, if I scroll down, you can see here that you can also increase or decrease windows width size, which is really, really nice. And then here you have a lot of the themes which you can basically pick from. Let's 
for example, use the Dracula one. And let me show you how it actually looks like. So this is the Dracula theme, which we currently have. Let's search for something else like the Microsoft Edge. You can see how the font looks like and the highlights as well. Really, really, really nice theme for the Flow Launcher. Let's go back to the Flow Launcher and let's try another theme as well. Let's try the Ubuntu one. And here it basically is. This is the Ubuntu theme for the Flow Launcher as well. I think this one looks also quite nice. Now let's go back to the settings and you can also see the clock or you can also add the date. So if I, for example, enable that and open the Flow Launcher, I believe you could also see the date right here. So here, at the bottom we have the date and the clock is here at the top so you can also do that and here you can also change the animation speed for example you can go to slow medium fast or custom and also you can enable or disable the animation now we can also see here that you can play sound effect or don't so this is one setting which it's also quite nice to have then on the bottom we also have hotkey menu by default flow launcher hotkey is alt plus space but you can also remap it to whatever you like and as you saw earlier in the video i also installed a plugin for Windows hotkey so you can just press that and open the flow launcher itself you can then also add your own custom query hotkey so for example control alt plus f11 then it will open recycle bin inside the flow launcher so here you will type in your hotkey and your query and that's basically it. And then at the bottom, you also have here custom query shortcuts as well as built in shortcuts here as well. Then at the bottom, we have HTTP proxy if you want to play with that as well. Here are all of the settings for that. And then at the end, we also have the about. So you can see here that this program actually counts how many times you launch the program. So here we have 25 times. Then at the top, we have check for updates button and also to become a sponsor. So if you are really that inspired by this program, then you can also support this project here as well. And then if you click on that, you will see the latest release notes of this program as well. And that's basically it for the Flow Launcher. I think it's very, very useful. Keep in mind that there is also an alternative for this program as well. It's called Microsoft Power Toys, and it also has this very similar feature but with also many other features as well included so yeah keep in mind that this is only this launcher and the power toys has many of the other tools included as well so this is something to be aware of but all in all i think this program looks and works fantastically on any windows 10 and 11 computer and heck it even works on windows 7 as well so with that said this is pretty much it for the video Video. thank you so much for watching if you haven't already make sure that you drop a like down below subscribe to the channel and i will also leave a link for this program in the video description below so make sure that you check it out and give it a try have an amazing rest of your day guys and i will see you in the next one peace